ha. We always start the thing with us laughing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we're supposed to giggle. <laughs> My voice is not giggly today. It's just weird. It's a weird voice. All right. This Some, way, someday we should just start sobbing <laughs> and, and not explain it. <laughs> I can't He's believe that. Oh, He's wiping away. <laughs> no more tears, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Die Drink and Die presents the Grimstone Chronicle Season 4, Episode 13. I am your DM and host, joined by the full Ontario crew. How is everyone doing on this fine Thursday? There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> Pretty all the, good. All, all the thumbs. Yep. I just got up from a nap, so if I seem a little sleepy, that's probably... Uh, but I jammed a bunch of sugar and caffeine in me, so it'll kick in a second. Give, give it a couple minutes. Yeah, give, give it a couple minutes. Speaking of thumbs up, my uh, my youngest, like two year old, he uh, whenever you ask him if things are okay, he goes ah, like that. Right? <laughs> he somehow screwed up and gave us the middle finger. He's like, "How you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, nobody react, nobody react, let it go by, let it go by. Don't, don't giggle, don't yeah. giggle. Don't, don't giggle, giggle, don't giggle. <laughs> don't. I was like, oh, I really want a phone. <laughs> <laughs> don't make this a thing. <laughs> don't make this a this thing. This is not allowed to be a thing. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, well, so that happened today. That yeah, fun. how you feeling, Ahmed? Uh, you sound a little... Uh... Still sick, round two of COVID. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. okay. It's been, what, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, six days, so should be good by the weekend end of it <laughs> and then everything cool at your parents place oh uh, yeah 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 there was just a bunch of kids it looked like they were trying to mess with it but they were just trying to get through the backyard apparently they just don't know how to jump over a five how many fence. is a bunch <laughs> just to because yeah like, like 20 or so <laughs> that's a lot yeah. Okay, yeah okay 20 kids running through your yard yeah that's that's, that's probably a, a good reason to call the cops yeah. <laughs> the flash mob came <laughs> and ruined the petunias everything was still there no graffiti no okay. damage okay. i was like all right we're good okay <clears throat> we'll leave these bear traps down for when they climb back over <laughs> <laughs> I think that's illegal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't make traps in your backyard. <laughs> for uh, the big raccoons. You're not allowed to trap raccoons in your backyard, I guarantee. <laughs> Mark, how many uh, how many playthroughs have you done of uh, Wrath of the Righteous okay. now that it's on console? Um, All right, so I am on my 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 fifth. Now. It's been two weeks. Fifth. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, but in my defense, I had to get rid of the first four because I don't particularly enjoy. I don't want to learn the new game that is army control. So the so, game within the game, the the yes. army, the army management. I I, I don't want to learn that. It, I, I, Usually, we get the evidence in a pile first. So four playthroughs. How far through the game for each of these playthroughs? About twenty hours each. So, except for no, except for the except for the last one was oh, only like you've been you've been burning there. the candle at both ends working. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. we have the point of view. Mark, Mark has oh, yeah, like, full time jobs. Like, like <laughs> yesterday, I got home. This is my my current playthrough. I got home at like quarter after seven, and I stayed up till like ten in the morning <laughs> playing video games. <laughs> so I've only put 300, 350 hours into Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, in a lot longer time. In a lot longer time period, yes. Yes. So, I thought I was playing a lot of video games this weekend when I played eight hours <laughs> of Warhammer stuff. Oh, uh, it was, it's fun. They're old <sighs> games. They're, you know, for the Emperor. For the Emperor. Uh, for the for Emperor. Uh, <laughs> What's your favorite build so, so far, it, Mark? Is it Warhammer <laughs> Fantasy or 40k? 40k. Okay. What's, Always your, 40K. what's your favorite build so far, Mark? Or what builds have you tried? There's only four of them. I have tried the uh, Imperial, or sorry, no, the uh, Sorcerer Sage, uh, um, which is handy because um, knowing everything is still handy in a yeah. uh, video game. <laughs> um, I, I so had Bar Barnabas. <laughs> Bar well, except except he's an elf and not evil. I was going to put him towards the um, Aeon path, uh, lawful neutral. So. Did anybody pick up on Mark describes the defining characteristics of Barnabas as being human yeah. and evil? <laughs> in in oh, broad those, those strokes, are the those are. <laughs> yeah. Well, that and not having the ability to gestalt. Yeah. That's kind yeah. Of... yeah. 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 Uh. 
and um, yeah, it, like it's a video game. There's not that much character to the guy. Period. So it's not yeah. like I could. It's not like I can give my video game character a drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. It's just because can't you? You in the uh, in the first one, you could you could find treasure like wine and stuff. Yep. If you consume it. Yep. You, so you could. You can, uh, I've never I think, tried to. I think, you can, <laughs> I think you can. Um, I think after a while you just end up sick for a short period of time. Like that's pretty much the only. Effect. I, I've honestly yeah. never. I've just so always. You, sold so it. you could role play the. I think you could role play the drinking problem, and it would have financial impact. <laughs> the amount of money that you make, though, in it's video, just ridiculous. In, in the, for what you're spending on booze, like there's no the way. exponential <laughs> climb that is the third edition uh, m- uh, money Wealth path. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so yeah. you you did you did lore lore uh, sorcerer. So yeah, and I will look into the lore master prestige class. Um, I'm oh uh, bl- uh abyssal blood rager. Half yes. orc. Get big. <clears throat> Get big. Reach weapon. Slash everything. <laughs> um, very fun. That one. Um, the uh, Zen Archer, which at the beginning of the game is not so much fun, seeing as there's already another Zen Archer. Yeah, there are two archers. A good one and an evil one, or a neutral one and an evil yes, one. Yes, but I was trying to do Azzy, yeah. uh, Zildin, and um, so I was trying to be good. I'm like, he's good too. So I'm not going to replay that one. If I do, that'll be my neutral guy for this this run. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, when yeah. you encounter like two out of the four NPCs in the first chapter that will follow you around, it's like, oh, one's an archer, and the other one's an archer, and I choose between the two. It's like, oh. Yeah, but you only get to keep one. So I think there's a weird way where you could get them both. Um, there, there is a bunch of like wishy washy going back and forth. I think you could end up with both of them <laughs> if you really wanted to. The dating sim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm against what you're doing, but not so much to threaten the other person. I, th- I, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get them both. Ah, your and... sins are, you know, we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, and I uh, started, ver- this is the one that I only played for like 15 minutes, was the Stigmatized Witch, the Charisma Spontaneous Caster Witch, because mm-hmm. uh, hexes are awesome. You also yeah. end up with one of those NPCs, too. <laughs> the yeah. the girl with the ravens is Stigmatized Witch. No. So <laughs> All the best ones, I guess. you. Okay. And um, so I guess I won't redo that one. And um, I, like the when I just restarted, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do the hero, <clears throat> good, lawful, good, paladin, angel path. And seems like a pretty direct route too. It's yeah, it's a pretty strong choice. Cool. So Adam, you played eight hours of of uh, for the emperor. Uh, for for the emperor, eight hours of forty k, <laughs> Dawn of War two uh, uh, specifically. Okay. Um, it's just lots of fun. You you kill orcs and Eldar and. Chaos shows up, and you're like, fuck chaos. And, it, you know, it's two Tyranids. It's amazing. Um, we had a, we, we did a last minute uh, uh, Thanksgiving dinner, and my wife and I had a disagreement around turkey, turkey cooking time. Um, so uh, I was like, I was of the opinion that you couldn't possibly have the turkey done at this period of time, and she was of the opinion that you could. <laughs> I was correct. <laughs> Ice cold turkey. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I. Uh, we had a very questionable and slightly tubby, problemy turkey dinner. Uh, then oh. the next day, I made uh, like fried turkey fried rice, but like a <laughs> lot of turkey fried rice because <laughs> it was. Like four pounds of turkey in the turkey oh, fried rice. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it, she gave one of the dogs food poisoning. Yeah, because the things that make the, the things that make the people sick are also the same things that make the dogs sick. <laughs> so yeah, oh, no. it was, it I thought was we cool. learned. Uh, I thought you learned that units of measurement were not the not the strong suit. Uh, <clears throat> to the conversation, it went. Are you sure it's done? I said yes. It's like. Did you check online? Yes. Did you make certain that we had our kilos and pounds? 
Yes. Okay, it's, it's not stuffed. Yes. Okay, from Frozen. Yes. It's like, okay. If you're sure, we'll take it out. But I think it needs another two hours. Because I looked at all those things, and when I was going to put the turkey in, it wouldn't be done until an hour from now, and you put it in later than I was going to put it in. <laughs> so... <laughs> And it just turned out to be like, uh, I had my best. I told you so that I'll have all this year, basically. <laughs> but you got dibs on the big bathroom, though, right? <laughs> I, I, yeah. I told you. <laughs> oh, no. Three it was, I, I carved it in a way that I do. Like, I do. Like, I was shaving it off like I was at a campfire. <laughs> with Like, uh, we were hunting. <laughs> shaving strips of turkey off until we get oh, to. Yeah, and here's where we're done. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. All right. Uh, what a way to spend 30 bucks. All right. Why don't we do a recap what happened last time? So uh, while the half of the uh, Steel Rose Expeditionary League was up at the Greystone Citadel dealing with the dangers there, there was a smaller group that stayed behind at the Halfax Inn in Overlook. Um, the remainder of the group comes under attack at the Halfax Inn. Uh, and uh, basically we ended the episode early due to uh, extenuating circumstances. So we can we should go to the Halfax Inn. A school Inn. of children. Yep. Uh, do you need to step yeah. away, Adam, for something? Or uh, Yeah, I have to step away for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, why don't we do a meanwhile of the meanwhile? So while the group is resting <clears throat> or like kind of gathering up treasure at the, at the Greystone Citadel, and while the attack is going on at the Halfax Inn... There is a visitor who has come to see uh, uh, Amadeus in prison. Oh, well, okay. <clears throat> so let me find a good place for that meeting, and I also need to find a token. Uh, City of Overlook. And I think you're on the conversation layer somewhere. Probably. Well, that's old Amadeus. That's Grumpadeus. We need Newadeus. Sexadeus. <laughs> Don't think anyone's calling him that. What am I saying, Grumpadeus? Go do your meeting. Go to your meeting. Where is Amadeus's token? Do we delete uh, him from should be all... at the prison? Do we? Yeah. Do we have the prison? Oh, here? yeah. I, I think he's on the main. You're right. The city of Overlook. The main map is. Yeah, there. is in the bottom somewhere. I'm right. Isn't he? Uh the the prison of the pit. Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right, Amadeus. Um, you have killed at least six of those strange abyssal flies that seem to try to want to keep on crawling into your ear. Uh, what have you done with their little bodies afterwards? I guess he's just tossing them to the side. I mean, no one's coming to see him, so. Okay. He didn't know anyone's coming to see him. Uh, yeah, if you don't tell Gordon not to, he ends up eating them. I think it's fine. Don't know any better. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's a bunch of yelling as whomever is on the uh, um, whomever, whomever is on the platform as it's coming down looks like she's getting some attention. Uh, the The platform does stop a couple of times, and it sounds like guards are taking great offense to the catcalling that is happening, uh, and end up like beating several of the prisoners. <laughs> they literally stopped this thing. <laughs> Just... Open up the door. He's getting a beat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, when 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 it finally lowers down to your level, you realize that it's somebody that you know. Uh, it's one of the priestesses of the Five Face God that was at the temple where you initially made your confession. She is standing there. She's holding on to a holy tome of the Five Face God, and uh, she she looks like she's. Uh, warding away the sounds and smells of this place with uh, a quiet prayer to herself. There are two uh, dwarf guards uh, that have these long 
pole arms. They're kind of like man catchers. And you notice that one of the one of the guards is um, is wiping blood off of a gauntlet. Careful, careful, sister. This one's this one's uh, uh, dangerous. You want us to give him a beating before you talk to him? No, that that would be quite all right. They keep saying that it never happens. Gordon kind of knows that he shouldn't be there. He goes hiding underneath your your uh, cot well, or something. Yeah, underneath the cot, kind of like flipping along the ground, um, running underneath the cot to hide. Sister. Yeah, they, uh, they they go and unlock basically a place uh, that where things can be uh, exchanged, like a door within the door. Um, mm-hmm. Don't get too close. I I trust Amadeus to behave. Oh, it's just nods. There's a there's an angry clang on the door and some threats made in dwarven, and then the two dwarf guards back off to the far side of the. Uh, uh, to the far side of the um, the platform, uh, Lavinia, you can see, is not used to the smell, and you can hear the pigs squealing down below. Mm-hmm. As uh, one of the guards dropped a bloody rag down there, which sent the pigs all scrambling, thinking that it was food or something tasty. What can I do for you, sister? I've come here to see how you are. I have found some measure of peace. The five-faced God answers my prayers now. Truly, I have also come here with an apology. For what do you need to apologize? I don't think the priest who received your confession, forgive me, he of five faces, is of right mind. What do you mean? Your confession, your crimes were, well, they are now of a secular kind and in the secular courts, but you had come to us with confession and we did nothing to help in your salvation, but instead broke covenants and sent you here. This should have never happened. Had Halcyon been the one in charge of the temple, this would have never happened. Grovalt, however, I have begun to think that he is not a priest of the Five-Faced God. Oh, the Sod's uncle's here. (laughs) I do not know how to help you here, aside from the, the salvation that you should have been delivered. Uh, I have a book for you, she says. Uh, I'm guessing it's like one of those drawer things where she passes it through. Well, they actually opened up like something that you could pass things directly through. Thank you, sister. I hope that this will be a, a small gesture. It pleases me to hear that you have made contact with the divine... With the five faces, I, I never would have. She she looks very distraught. You are free from be free from guilt. I do not mind the secular charges. I did what I did. I should pay the price. Priest Halon, um, he was in charge of our temple before uh, Grovolt. He he left at the most peculiar time claiming that he was going on a spiritual retreat. I don't think that in the middle of all of these troubles he would have abandoned his temple. It was much too convenient that Grovolt had arrived well, almost as Halon left. You think Grovalt engineered it somehow? She, she 
she seems really reluctant to say it out loud, but Amadeus is pretty good sense motive, right? Yep. Yeah, she she 32. she mm-hmm. there's probably um all sorts of oaths of of uh uh obedience that she's breaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> She nods. She, she doesn't say it out loud, but she nods. I don't know how to ask you this, but I know that you and your friends I was suspicious of, of, of Priest Halon's disappearance. He carries upon him a very special holy symbol of our church that he took with him during his spiritual retreat. I did wander throughout the town and use a power to locate the holy symbol. And while his letter did say that he was leaving Overlook, his symbol did move around Overlook many days afterwards. I lost track of it somewhere in the center of the city. No one has seen Priest Halon. And I fear that if I wait too long for the letters that I have sent to to Denevar and to Foundry, something is wrong. And I'm afraid that you ending up here was a mistake. Prison is the least. I deserve. But if you need help, go to the Halfax Inn. Ask for Sonny. He's, he has spells for everything. He will find your priest. And he's also much less likely to charge you money. Do not speak to the man in the hat. He will charge you an arm and a leg. The man in the hat. This is your Steel Rose group. Yes. Also, the dwarf Brenos and Thogrim are good-hearted souls. They might help you. Yes, I, I, I know of Brenos. Brenos grew up in the Nine Bells district. Which is where the temple is. Yeah. Speak to them. Thank you, she says. Tell them I would consider it a personal favor. There are, um, you know, she points out that there are some prayer beads uh, amongst the, uh, uh, that are wrapped around the book. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else that you need, Omadeus. The the five-faced God provides for all I need now. Thank you. No, sister. Thank you. And as she she joins you in a quick prayer about how the five are one and that the one are five and blessed be the holy number and those that that look after us. Mm-hmm. Um as far as Amadeus is concerned, he fights with the Five Face God's favorite weapons because one, two, three, four, five, and slap! <laughs> <laughs> Which favorite weapon is the tongue? So, what class did Amadeus. Does not fight with the tongue anymore. What class did Amadeus uh, take that gives him <laughs> connection? Inquisitor. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be gross. <laughs> it's, so gross. it's only going to be a few levels, but it's going to be enough levels to make it gross. <laughs> so he's a Cavalier Constable 2, a Fighter Lore Warden 11, Inquisitor Preacher 1, Gestalt Monk Tatori 14. Yeah. And you've paid off your aberrant augmented uh, I did, yes. uh, outer mutant race with a mythic uh, path, path power. Yeah. Next level, he adds his wisdom to his initiative modifier. That's all. I got you! <laughs> <laughs> and his initiative is plus six right now with a plus eight modifier. Yeah, plus yeah. 14 initiative. It's like, I go first and <laughs> you're grabbed. <laughs> cool. 
<laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait a sec. I should be the one going cool. <laughs> Don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, uh, Sister Lavinia uh, leaves um, uh, with with the prayer beads and and your and your recent uh, praying, and then Sunny casting the atonement. This has all enabled you to make a divine connection to uh, the Five Face God. Yep. Neat. We've got our. I think the are you the only one in that in the two parties that worships the Five Face God. I think so. Didn't Barnabas start out that way? He started out that way. Well, he was, it was lip service for him, really. <laughs> it was like, he didn't. It was lip there. service enough to write it down on the sheet so you didn't go to who knows where when you yeah. died. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, exactly. It was like, I guess the last god I worshipped was. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the half axe in. We're in the middle of combat. It looks like Rainbow Scales has gone. I forget what Rainbow Scales did. I think he got sucked forward. He failed his. <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 yeah, he had a, he, he failed his save and had a bad round. <laughs> yeah, he got sucked forward. He, sucked he, 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 he still gets course. actions though. Uh, I think I think this is where we just stopped. Yeah. Um, I think Rainbow Scales is going to try to dispel Sunny's wind because this is ridiculous. Uh, this is about the ridiculous <laughs> thing ever. If 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 he can't, it's it's a losing situation. <laughs> yep. <coughs> uh, tenth level magic is not good enough. Sunny's spell is like sixteenth or eighteenth or something like that. Oh, and we need to we need to draw the eye of the storm again. It looks like that didn't uh, save. That didn't save, yeah. So it's like a twenty foot radius where there yep. is calm, and then the the stuff in the inn is flying up, reaching that it, and going. It comes the to roof. that wall and gets. <laughs> okay, so right now it hasn't broken through the roof yet, but but there's. <laughs> the furnace there's, is going to show up. There's what happened to the booze? <laughs> Furniture, booze, anything that isn't nailed down is like being whooshed up into the ceiling, and there's this churning maelstrom of of, of broken furniture and and glass. Why the druid of volcanic and a groan from the building as you've created sort of like an internal pressure on the building. <laughs> the building shifts a little bit. Uh, Slake, uh, this door is open, right? It got blasted open. So Slake's turn, 144 damage. Okay, he heals three. Gonna be a while, <laughs> and then I think he's gonna go over and start punching some of the uh, some of the bug things over here. So he's going to uh, do a little dip dipsy doodle uh, uh, to overrun this Casmi demon who is on the ground. Rawr! He launches over. He like pushes Cog another way, and uh, Mister is still frightened. And yep. let's have a look at. Oh, I'm looking at Amadeus. I'm like, why is this con confusing? Uh, Wait a sec. I don't remember there being a surprise on here. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's how big of a surprise it is. <laughs> All right. First thing, he's going to slam his mutagen. Um, which is yeah. a standard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I think only allows him one uh, overrun. Action and three punches because your guy fall down like whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it's two punches. <laughs> uh, Fifty one. Yeah, he he kicks this Casmi demon over and then and then continues to kick it. Uh, so one for him over uh, successfully overrunning. He beat the CMD by ten, so it falls down, and then one AOO for it being prone in front of him. Now this is at his mutagenic uh, power attack and bonus. Uh, nat 20, nat 20. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> just, just, okay, that's a dead bug. Modron deep. understands. That's a dead bug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a crit and a crit. Oh, reduced. Boo. And a minor injury and standard. So that's like he got hit three times. Three times, yeah. Okay, so that's 3d6 plus 112. How you feel, bug boy? Bug got kicked for 124. He also gets the damage from pushing into him because he's got spikes. Uh, and the, the damage from the spikes while raging is 1d8 plus uh, 33, 1d8 plus 50. 
So an additional 54 when he initially bumped into the creature uh, is 178. Uh, Slake does get through uh, alignment DR at his level of Forsaker, which means that he's getting through the DR of the Kazmi bug. He basically squishes the bug. Uh, it has not that many hit points. So yeah, he goes he goes running into the room and and bumps into it. It falls on the ground. He grabs it by the proboscis and and hits it a couple of times. And there's just buggy guts everywhere. <clears throat> he's he's laughing and roaring and and. Uh, uh, Having a great old time. All right. Uh, some invisible assailants uh, that were in the back room where Barnabas's area was as they were doing things back there that weren't combative. Um, they may have been looking for, oh, I don't know, personal effects or perhaps like nail clippings and hairs and, and all sorts of things well, like that. There's a big wind. <laughs> Yeah, well now there's a big wind that is that is sucking. Uh, this door hasn't this door hasn't been blown from its hinges yet, but uh, yeah, there is a big wind from this back area, uh, this this area. Uh, so these guys, uh, let me get their tokens. Might have you a, a bit worried. Do they have big noses? They do. Uh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! No! <laughs> the burgles are here! No! No bargles! No bargles! Last time we fought the bargles, they were a problem. But if they haven't, if their master hasn't leveled up, I'd be kicking his ass. <laughs> All right. After having successfully found what it is that they wanted, they're going to join the fight. They open the room, and then they're like blown into the room because of, because of the sucking wind. Oh. So they spend around basically getting through the door and then uh, through the wind, and they're they're basically. Uh, one of them is going to attempt to uh, dispel Sunny's Wind. 13th level magic? No. Okay. Uh, and then another one is just trying to... Yeah, they're, they're trying to keep keep from flying off into the room. Uh, Gilgothorn. At the top of the round. Okay, so he's medium. Uh, how does the wind affect him? Uh, so... Uh, he needs to make a fortitude save. Uh, and then... Okay, he gets a 28. <coughs> okay, so he can move whatever direction he... Basically, he, he his physical person doesn't take effects from the winds this round. Each round you have to make a save. Yeah, but he still can't fire arrows is what you're saying. No, because it's a... It, the arrows immediately go woof, into the wind. But he can go away from us if he wants. Yeah, see... <laughs> Does he want to go away from us? I don't think we can win the fight while this wind is going on. So... Um, he can throw his bow at us. Pretty sure that'll have an effect. <laughs> they are telepathically chattering with the Kazmis. So, yeah, you, you don't know what happened. Like, there's no visible... Uh, uh, attack or he doesn't appear Sunny and Mistra Mistra okay. is frightened and is scared and comes running up to Sunny calm down Mistra it'll be alright they were just leaving <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to cast a dismissal in that hallway Oh. Banishment or whatever the big one is. Well, which one? Uh, give me a second. I believe banishment's the bigger one. Uh, is this a are... spell that you've got prepared, or are you using a mythic point? I am using a mythic point because more cast level <laughs> and more DC. <laughs> banishment, uh, banishment spell is a more powerful version of this missile spell, enabling enable you to force extra planet creatures out of your home plane. Bye bye. Go as away. many as two hit dice of creatures per caster level can be banished. Ooh. Yes, uh, and I'm going to. Uh, uh, we think they're demons, so we're going to present cold iron as part of the spell from the spell component pouch. Because we think they're demons. 
Okay, uh, this is not a rare item, but it is a, uh, a substance that uh, demons do not like uh, by their general nature. So the caster level check is increased by one for overcoming SR, and the DC of the spell is increased by two. Cool. So, uh, this is a DC 28 will save, and I need to crack SR, I'm assuming. Yep. Uh, okay. Their SR is... Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Pretty low. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm using a mythic point to cast the spell. Uh, I get uh, additional bonus on attempting to crack Kassar. Uh, I believe from being the spellcasting prodigy. Uh, nope, that is on the spell checks. All right. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to spend uh, three charges be of just because I have this item. Uh, the Star of Coralon, I will spend one charge to add plus four to my roll on top of this. Everything okay, else. so one. I think it's an iron stone, so one of the things glitters, yeah. uh, uh, glows fiercely. 1d20 plus 14 plus two plus four and i get two rolls so 31 or 29 they both make it so all three of these creatures now need to make will saves as you crack their sr <laughs> this horrible droning sound 28 or go away oh that's a pretty big will save that's the spaz failed failed and failed <laughs> <laughs> uh they basically like turn into fly maggots and then the fly maggots kind of explode about the room and then the fly maggots disappear. Like they kind of worm away and disappear. They were just leaving because this is Volcanica. <laughs> Sonny has attuned himself to Volcanica so he he has you've you've now confirmed that Sonny's home plane is the prime material. If there were any doubts about where Sonny If there's any doubts about this Yep. I mean, no belly button and apple tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's sprouting from the ground and all sorts of things. Yeah. All right, so Sonny... What the fuck? Where did they go? <laughs> did they teleport? You did this. <laughs> uh, the one that, that Slake squished is still there. Yep. Uh, he kicks it out of frustration. All right, fly demons. There are none left. Alive. This one was knocked out. And is being pulled towards the wind. <laughs> it's kind of rolling up the stairs a little bit. It is a large creature, so it's not moving very far per round. Uh, that that movement is keeping it. I don't think they have regen. Yeah, it's probably bleeding. You might have to take some action if you really wanted to save the demon. Uh, no two of which could be thirty feet apart, so it was too far away to be included in the. Um, uh, uh, in the banishment. Uh, Cog. Your music. Uh, Cog is still injured, I believe. Cog is severely injured. Join the club with the uh, Slake. Yeah. Looks like, not... <clears throat> looks like Cog's got yet, 66 right? damage. So Cog's going to heal another five. And becomes 61. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, uh, Marty. Yep. Sonny is readying a quickened uh, fairy fire. If I see those guys come around the corner, I'm going to fairy fire them just so that sleep can go stomping. <laughs> <coughs> the monk's key ability to. Um... The thing is, I'm way around the corner, so they have to come way the heck out here mm -hmm. to trigger. The monk's key ability to heal. Yeah. How many actions is that? Let's see. Monk. It would be a standard uh, or a front action, depending on how it's described. Uh, I think it's a standard wholeness of body. Stan standard action. Yeah, it's like two, to his monk level. two actions. <sighs> but I think because of you being you, this isn't affected by... Like, this is just... It's not a conjuration healing... I think it just works at full, full chutzpah. It should, yeah, but um, 
healing myself or healing Slake? Mm. Uh, no. Slake, Slake, Slake isn't bloodied, so I don't know what he's kind of whining. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take Yeah, Slake's action. not whining about how destroyed he is. I was just making a comment that it's quite obvious that. Uh... <laughs> Slake is taking more punishment this fight than, yep. like, the last Any five. <laughs> but very um, interesting. So... Wholeness of body is supernatural, so you could technically use that to heal Slake. And yes, this does affect uh, what, uh, what Adam was trying I, to describe. I think it's, it's self only, is it not? The power is self only. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, I see. Um, yes, you, you won't take half of this because it's just damage. Like, yeah, this I'm is a very gonna, efficient I'm going to use the, um, uh, what's it called? A repair? Rapid repair? Okay, okay, so you take out your repair kit and you're starting to... And just do like, yeah, I'll do the down. standard action uh, uh, rapid repair on myself. And you can make that and, first check? Yeah. Um, let's roll a d20 here. Yeah. Uh, all right. While well, Cog is repairing himself, uh, Thogram, Howie, and G One. So, I th think <coughs> I think the Thograms who were sent to fetch healing potions have now physically surrounded Thogram. They haven't actually administered them yet because that's a full round action to feed the potion. But they have them in their hands and they're in front of Thogram. So in this round, they arrived. Yes. Or in this round, they're here, and they're in this round, they can feed me the potions. No, no. This round, they're physically standing around Thogram. They retrieved potions and came back. Yeah. Okay, so this round, they can feed me the potions as a full round action. Next round, they can feed you. Oh, so are you saying next round, they can do that? Next round. Okay, okay. Um, how much damage does Thogram have? Looks like 60 with bleed. So uh, I don't think you've healed yet. So I think you had... Four bleed? Six. Like that. Six? Okay. So take your six damage. You got rid of the strength penalty. So you could remove yeah. that from your token, but you are still fatigued. Six. And, six you're, and you're lying down on the ground still. You haven't spent the action to stand up. <laughs> no, Master, that's fine. Are we going back to fire at some of those bug demons? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> he's got how he's got sixteen damage. Damn. Okay. All right. Um, standard action. Can I grab a potion and drink it? Uh, since they have them presented, yes, you could you could drink one of the potions. You're you're basically you put your lips up to one of the potions and kind of tilt it sideways, and you you drink a potion. Now I don't know where these potions are coming from. Are these things that were part of the party? Treasure yeah, so you see where that... the so you know how I've set up the alchemy lab right next to the port teleporting station. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's where they are. From, from what character sheet or pool of magic items are these potions coming from? There's a um, Thogram's Forge. Uh, where are my potions? Ranged weapons, wands, consumables. Almost a bunch of wands. Crap, where are my potions? In the northern treasure party and gear, there's a tremendous amount of... Uh, of yeah, those are supposed to be uh, in here. Crap. Um, I don't know what of happened. Consum okay. Of consumables? It does look like... There are supposed to be a bunch of potions listed here. I don't know. I'll, I'll fix it, but there's, they would there, have come from there. There's a bunch of concentrated drow poison, a bunch of arrows and torches. They're alchemists. They don't get the poison. <laughs> Actually, 6-1 probably grabs poison. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not seeing a big cache of <coughs> healing potions somewhere. Where is it coming from? It should be It should be from... Um, it should be from our treasure list. There should be some there. Okay, I'm not seeing any You're under not seeing consumables. Them there. Okay, so let me check... Um, I think they've all been divvied. Um, where is this coming from? Do you oh, have, do you have any on... This party's really low on healers, so... Do you have any on your character sheet? Yeah, let me check Thogram himself. Because your, your, your simulacra can definitely have stuff that you... 
that is on your character sheet. Yeah, I have potions of cure moderate and serious uh, on on okay. me on okay. my person. Tick tick one off and then give yourself the healing. Okay. Cure serious 3d6 3d8. I mean, I found four of them, but they're from recent. Yeah, they're not divvy yet. I don't even no, think they're, they're here. Not this, this they're is not divvy. Like... This is stuff that the other group found in uh, Greystone or something. <sighs> I think I think my one note screwed up, but it's, it's fine. And when I copy and or cut and paste, it, sometimes I lose some. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I'll buy some later. Uh, I'll use uh, um, one of my cure serious potions. Okay, take it off. Um, roll the healing, and I think that's it. That's yeah, that's fine. It's what is three D eight plus um, five five <coughs> twenty. Nice. That's good. Standard action. Okay, he gets up. Um, he's gonna grab. This is my last mythic point. Oh, I really need to get back. <laughs> uh he's yeah, shit. Excuse my language. He's gonna take a point anyways. Okay, he's going to he's gonna wait the round. He's gonna wait for round for them to pour the potion uh, to take they're gonna take potions off him and feed him. Okay. Uh rainbow scales, you don't know what he's doing. Uh, the door is closed. Which door is closed? This one. Oh, they closed that door? Yeah, they, they closed that door. Yep. You're around the corner. There's a huge windstorm. It's not like you're hearing their little actions. Slake wanders out into the storm to go squish a bug. <laughs> Uh, the whole bar ends up flying at Slake and kind of cracking over him. And... <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, there goes the liquor. Uh, and then surprise. And then I think I think it's just a windstorm. You haven't seen your enemies in uh, in a count of about six seconds or so. What is this party doing this round? Uh, remove fear on Mistra. Okay. Uh, Sunny, like, will turn into a bat eventually. Like, but it's, this round, it's remove fear on Mistra. Yep. Slate, Slate comes wandering back. You can see he's slowly re knitting. He, he like puts puts a puts a hand on Cog's uh, on Cog's shoulder as he's looking around for other enemies. Thogrim, you said you're spending a round waiting for. He's spending, he's so he drinking. takes a, he takes a drink, uh, and he's gonna he's gonna let the simulacra grab. I've got three three or five more curing potions. Okay. He's gonna let them grab two and feed into him. Okay. So so we'll... next next round he's going to plane shift greater teleport and he'll arrive so All right. next round by the end of next round i'm gonna roll a saving throw for the building this is to see if the roof opens up uh, uh as there's furniture and all sorts of stuff bombarding that one spot in the roof uh nope the building is holding firm you just have a lot of broken furniture churning around uh, along the ceiling and collecting up as more things are tumbling towards uh towards the circle where sunny and the uh and the and the golems are standing <clears throat> uh next round uh how hurt is cog at this point I, like his thing hurts my brain uh your image is damage and hp versus hp total i don't know what that means you have 61 damage or you have 61 hit points you're muted You're still muted. You're muting. You're muted if you're talking to us. Duh. Sorry. Um, 181 is the total uh, hit points after the mutagen. So 61, 61 is damage. Is damage. Okay. All right. Okay. Two rounds of healing means you've got 51. Okay. So Sunny will cast a free movement on Cog and sort of point out. To investigate. That would be investigate. Go investigate. All right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Slake and Cog go go uh, pushing their way through the foul winds, getting bombarded by furniture as it comes flying from re- even further remote parts of the Havax Inn. <laughs> uh, they, they get into the area where, oh shit, there's a bunch of furniture that is now piled up against the door as the door uh, as the door is uh, uh, off its hinges. Uh, you push your way through that, and you you don't see any of the any of the enemies. You just see um, a lot of uh, property damage. We'll call it. We didn't see the Bargles. The party doesn't know there's Bargles involved yet. Okay, uh, Sunny will if if when they report this back, Sunny will dismiss the. <laughs> the uh... <laughs> yeah. So I I think at this point in time. Uh, um, Actually, Sonny is not going to dismiss it. Sonny, in fact, Sonny can't dismiss it. Sonny is going to, over four rounds, reduce the reduce it back down to no win. Th- Thogram, where do you teleport back to? He's going to go to the same <clears throat> the same area where they were. <clears throat> okay, so Sorry. you're plane shifting. He's going to plane shift and then greater teleport to them. All right, uh, and then for your plane shift, what point do you pick to arrive back in? Uh, Volcanica. A place that has lots of nothing around it. Maybe a desert. <laughs> okay, the closest deserty <laughs> area would be where the Ghost Lord was. Like the barren nope. drylands or whatever. <laughs> oh wait, the Ghost Lord's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Yeah, sure, that's fine. The Thorn, like where, thorn Waste, probably I think one of called. the quieter places in there. Yeah. Okay, you end up 292 miles in a uh, northeast north direction from the <laughs> from the thorn waste, which means I think you're in the mountains somewhere. Uh, let's see how precarious your landing spot is. Uh, Ten is bad, one is good. Uh, you're on a little ledge. Howie's like he could fly, right? So. At first, yeah. you started slipping, but then began to fly. Uh, you wouldn't want to stay here for long. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait the round. I, I can fly as well. We'll wait the round and uh, okay, to, and greater teleport back to, in like this area. Uh, probably yeah, probably closer to this area where they were. All right, you teleport back into a torrent of wind <laughs> and broken furniture. Uh, how, Fulgrim's how, back. How many rounds was this? Uh, this was one, two, three, three four. Five rounds? Okay, because I can actually... Two I just have one concentration check. I can actually drop it all the way down. Like, I can go... Okay. So I can... I, it so can be by the time you get back, there's just mounds of broken furniture. You can see dead bug bodies. Like, they seem to have all been pulled in this weird circle around Sunny. Okay, so, uh, so Sunny will, will have uh, polymorphed himself into a tiny bat and cast a, uh, <laughs> a beast speak... <laughs> <laughs> because Thorgrim's ready for battle. He's like, where are they? Master! Sorry, I can't do the voice now. Master, where do I shoot? <clears throat> uh, oh, you're back. Excellent. Uh, I, th- I believe they ran away from the might of Volcanica. Where are they? Slake I'm here to destroy them. Slake I can't do their voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> Slake and Cog have, you know, have done this massive swoop of the entire inn looking for enemies. Hmm. Oh, they, were, they ran away, the spell beggars. Oh, are they gone? So they like peeping out from around the corner. <laughs> Did you see the Farseer? The what? The Farseer. The little box on the tripod that the scope that I've been looking at. S- Slake waves off your question like it's not important. Cog, no, you did not see the Farseer. It's not here, Sonny. <clears throat> there was no sign of it. And no sign of it in the wreckage. No sign of it. Barnabas, Barnabas, they took the Farsia. Where do you think they took it to? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, can you telepathically not chuckle? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Barnabas. <coughs> I'm certain that they will clean it up before you get back. Clean what up? Sorry, got to go. (laughs) 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 (sighs) Sons of bitches. Okay, 
Sunny is going to take. Let's uh, move ourselves to a. Wow, well, there's been a there's a big fucking mess over here. So in a puddle of booze, <laughs> a puddle of booze and shit. Yep. We're going to do a greater scry upon the archer. Okay, how long does it take to cast the greater scry? Standard action. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> where, where are you a minute from now? <laughs> uh. All right, not anticipating this. Give me one second to create a map. Uh, I do have the image. I just need to uh, add it to map. It's a spell I have every single day on my spell list because I have an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> seen you in this puddle of port <laughs> <laughs> okay so then we'll call this uh... we're basically on a first name basis he almost murdered me <laughs> <laughs> all right mm hmm or at least firsthand. Damn it, I was muted again. Okay, quick question. Yeah. Printing hand is a mythic path ability. You touch the foe to no weakness, and if it's within a mile, you know where the target is. But the question is, is it a touch? Um, oh, melee or touch to make contact. I struck the... Oh, what's his name? Goblin. No, the little... Goblin, the little... Kobold. Kobold. Mm -hmm. Would imprinting hand work on him? Is there an action associated with it? It's a free action. It's called imprinting hand. Supernatural. SU. It was the only thing I struck. Arm strike. <coughs> okay. Did you hit it in melee? Or yeah. I had one of my one of my uh Flurry's uh, hit. Oh, this is went. Cog. I was gonna. Uh, I, was gonna say, I don't know why. I was... No, it was Cog. Yeah, one of his attacks okay, so struck the, through. The second part of this, you actually have to maintain these. So, I am cool with. Marking oh, you have to you, maintain you have to, it. Well, you you have to maintain. You can only maintain one connection. Your connection to previous creatures lost. So you, you can always say the last person I punched. Um, but I, I think you need to. Uh... Oh, identify. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So I remember, like, I had something to track people. And it's like, oh yeah, I didn't say anything. That's, oh, that's it, it, yeah, it's it's you know, sessions like. Oh, it's, 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 All right, it's I need to grab Gilgathorn. Sunny, you've got see invisibility, right? Yep. And one of those bugs escaped. With my thing, that's oh, be there, oh, be there, be ready to punch. Everybody, be ready to punch. <laughs> That. Steal from me, will you? I'm the druid of Volcatica. <laughs> if you didn't know, this is Volcatica. <laughs> Where I'm the druid of. <laughs> <laughs> The place with which right. I am the druid of. Sunny, you are spying <laughs> upon Gilgothorn. You can see Gilgothorn is there, and uh, the Kazmi demon that uh, uh, escaped with the Farsi of Rest. Are we hand waving the will save? What's the DC? He needs a will save, yeah. The DC would be 20. Uh, so, uh, assuming he's on the same plane, um, I've, I've met him, so it's 27. <laughs> Boys, let's teleport. <laughs> well, actually, does the, what, can I use one of the arrows in my ass as a possession of his? Yes. Okay, I'm using one of the arrows stuck in my ass. <laughs> I would, I would argue it's a gift to you. <laughs> you now own okay. it. Yes, you, you, you take one of the thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay, let's have a a look here. I was jumping ahead. I got excited. 
Uh, <laughs> I got excited to show you shit. Uh, he's got a plus 19. Oh. Damn. 22. Deep <laughs> And he is on. The, he's, he's on the same plane, so there was no bonus there. All right, so let's go back to the deep sewer. There we go. Uh, yeah, you can see Gilgothorn, and you can hear him, right? Yep. Well, shit, he says in Elfin. That could have gone better, says Rainbow Scales, standing right beside him. It looks like they're drinking potions. Yes, but we've got their thing, says the Casmi demon. Uh, and, and you can see, you can see just at the edge of the, uh, you want to, you want to look at the Farseer of Rest, but it's just at the edge of the, the, the vision. You, you're pretty sure it's there. I wonder what it does. Uh, it's bug hands and feelers are all over it. Uh, Sonny knows that if he does not get to use the Farseer of Rest, that he's going to go through serious withdrawals. Given that this is an artifact, this might mean, uh, a slowly, uh, uh, temporary negative levels that slowly degrade over time. Uh, given the number of months you've used it, it's probably on the order of four negative levels that degrade over time Ooh. as you Ooh. go through withdrawals. I believe Barnabas. Uh, but yes, you can see Gilgothorn. Now, now Gilgothorn <laughs> seems to be in some underground area. There's a lot of moisture, a lot of weird... Uh, I'm going to wave Cog over and uh, Thogrim. Uh, a lot of weird uh, moss. And you do see that, that there are several other Chasmy demons that don't look as agitated. These ones may not have, uh, may not have um, participated in the battle. There's also, every once in a while, something like quickly flying by in both directions. Uh, give me a, percep a perception check, Sonny, to see if you can see... Which what... map? Sorry, can you move us to the map? Deep Sewer. Deep Sewer. Overlook. There, there are things flying back and forth. 33. They're, at first you thought they were flies or wasps. Do you remember the thing that crawled into Amadeus's ear? Yes. They're these things flying about the room, coming and going. Oh, God. Pilgrim. I know what it is. There's Gosh. a there's an ostentatiously robed wizard with a uh, a very uh, devilish looking beard. I, I don't uh, think Sonny met the bar girls. I don't he think steps forward. Them. Of course, we know what it is. Other oh, twins. Uh, it is the Farseer of Rest. Last known location was at the was in the swamp. I believe that two recently slain black dragons owned the thing. Well, that's convenient, says, says Gilgathorn. It is an artifact. Well, we know someone who likes to spy. Yes, perhaps we should keep it for ourselves. Yes, the collective of wizards would very much, that there's a third one, would very much like to own this artifact. Identical triplets is highly irregular. <laughs> It is not for you to decide. Do you speak, Abyssal? Uh, Sunny is more about natural things. <laughs> okay, uh, some some common name was uh, named in Abyssal. Thogrim and Cog were waved over. Yep. So do either of them? They they come over. No, no, they come over. <clears throat> there. That's why I went to the map so they can see. Yeah. <clears throat> Do that you do either of those two speak a vessel? No grum. Checking. Because there was a proper name used in Abyssal. Uh, or an Abyssal proper name. Thogrim speaks Abyssal. And Thogrim speaks Abyssal, yeah. Okay, the name roughly translates to fly on the wall. That's a good name. <laughs> I let that guy live. <laughs> Just for being classy. We are in fly on the walls territory. He should get the yes. he should get the artifact. Nice. Thank you. When we... Han hands off, buggos. <laughs> says, says the three the three identical wizards. No, no, we're all on the same side. Thogrim, can you kill them? <laughs> Don't harm the Farsia, but could you slay them for me? <laughs> yeah, yes, I think so. Uh, he's like. 
Still, he's pointing at a, at a, at a like a bunch of uh, bug wounds that are still closing on him. It's like, huh? it's like, yes. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, it looks like Rainbow Scales has drank his third potion. Just... I have a tele- I have a teleport that I can use, but I'm out of my greater teleports. I... Given that I led, given that I led this attack, I will, I will deal with the spoils. Pack it up, and we will put it with the rest. I want to know where they go. Barnaby. Barnabas, I found it. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> what fucking mess? <laughs> also, who's fly on the wall? Well, there's a common term you describe someone who's usually sitting by and paying attention to things. I think it might be an actual fly. <laughs> like a demon fly. Like a casmere, but like a better casmere. Knowledge planes? Or local? Uh, which locals do you have? I have Elsier Vale, but technically I can take any local. Okay, give me an any local uh, check. Okay. Uh, I have to double check what that would Okay. Be. Uh, Are we going to teleport there? Not right now. With no ranks. Mm-hmm. Uh, would have 24. Okay. Uh, plus 35. I will take 20. <laughs> 45. <laughs> <laughs> well, on a subject I know nothing about. <laughs> okay, fly on the wall is a proper name. Is a unique demon-like creature, perhaps even maybe an oberinth, which is sort of like an aberrant demon that was a information broker in the uh, Umbra Forge. Uh, um, that sounds like the information broker in Umbra Forge, uh, an oberinth. Possibly uh, like an aberrant demon. What the fuck are they doing over there? Just listening to Barnabas. <laughs> I, I don't know, but apparently they made a mess. <laughs> they and, better not have broken the bar. Love that thing. No, but apparently someone took the boss here. <laughs> That's not funny at all. It's not funny at all. Uh, he's going to need some, like, like uh, Shall we? Milk a poppy or something. Shall we go back? <laughs> no, they've rallied their defenses quite well. I was not expecting so many of them in one spot. Then we shall rendezvous again, says says say the Bargles. Are you sure that we cannot? Fine. Take the farcia if you wish. Study it. I want a full report from the, from the wizard collective. Excellent. They... they they seem to take it. This will not go un unreported, <laughs> says one of the Casmies. Gilgothor just waves it away. <laughs> I think it is time to uh, to leave before we wake up the, the coven. Uh, Rainbow Scales uh, nods as he drinks his fourth potion <coughs> and no longer has any non-lethal damage. What coven? I will be able to watch this guy for the next 14 hours. <laughs> and damn it, if Sonny's learned anything, it's how to concentrate for a really long time. <laughs> uh, it sounds like some nearby doors are opening. Shit, it sounds like they heard us. Of course they heard us. He's in there. I will go and report to them. Uh, and Gilga Thorn. So Rainbow Scales is saying he'll report to them? Or no, no. Uh, Rainbow Scales said, shit, they heard us. And he says, of course they heard us. He's yeah. he's in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unique demon. Uh, he goes, um, better you than me. Uh, don't worry. Their, uh, <laughs> their eyes have been blinded. Yeah, it's not those eyes I'm worried about, says Rainbow Scales. All right, I'll see you later. Oh, no. Rainbow Scales disappears. Oh, the Casmi no. the demons don't. Uh, the, the, the pissed off one goes in. The Bargles pack up the Farseer, the grubby hands taking little fucking things, and they, 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 one of them teleports away. It's a regular teleport. 
<laughs> one of them drops it in the sewer gunk, one of the lenses. Oh, yeah, one of the lenses got <laughs> dropped in the sewer gunk, got picked up, and, and just sort of, like, wiped with, like, a, a grimy hand. Uh, the other Kazmi demons look like there. It looks like Gilgothorn. <sighs> like, so like, it, it was the Council of Wizards or something like that? It was called the Wizard Collective. Collective. The Wizard Collective. Well, we are going to bring democracy to that part of the book. <laughs> Gilgothorn <laughs> takes a deep breath, straightens himself up, and then strides into, oh shit, a mage's private sanctum. The door, you're pretty sure the doors were, were like, they opened up and they were closing. Um, and that's all you see. So we're gonna give them a surprise. So does mages? Let me say one second. If does it suppress it, or does it like kill it? Um, cannot perceive anything towards those in signs. <laughs> Does not prevent message or the communication. Uh, so I think it's still running on him. I think you just can't see him. Okay, so no, so, so Sunny is going to stubbornly wait till he leaves to see where he goes. Particularly if he's going to decide to take a nap in the next, I don't know, fourteen hours. Because <laughs> I hear surprises are all the rage these days, <laughs> and I'll throw a cog up your ass. <laughs> Someone gonna get jumped, <laughs> and, and then we can have that conversation of like, oh, papa, like <laughs> this 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 elf who's you know particularly elf like, and I could ask him where this we're gonna we are gonna follow this guy to see if we could like figure out where he goes because I he no this this whole like I want to put two hundred fifty damage of arrows in your puttock. In the first round of combat? No. This this no. <laughs> so while you're doing this, Cog went around and used his battlefield surgeon and healed the characters of de of most okay. of their damage. Okay, yeah, it looks like you guys weren't teleporting in to do uh to do a uh We're counter not hitting them now. Yeah. <coughs> running. No. Wait till All this right. <laughs> All right, uh, Sonny, nope. you, you end up waiting for hours for anything to happen. In the meantime, Cog is healing folks. Uh you start like how I think you're just going to hire people to clean the inn. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just like... Uh, he, there's like one not broken bottle. He smashes it to keep the spell running because <laughs> he needs to bottle the fluid. <laughs> <laughs> On the northern party in gear, I'm just going to subtract uh, 1d3 plus 1,000 gold pieces to represent the damage that Sunny did. 2,000... Yeah. 2000 hey, nice, nice. Series. It's barely noticeable. Yeah, you have Don't a worry, you have the a, geographer takes care of the you, books. You, anyway. you have a slush fund of uh, of 6,000 uh, gold pieces. I, so. I don't see why we're, we're, we're paying for the damage anyway. Our name's not on the lease here. <laughs> see, that's the geographer thing. <laughs> Sunny's much more... <laughs> Oh, okay, anyways, it represents yep. broken personal... Broken yep. or missing personal effects and just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay. All right. What is the other group doing? Uh, right. At the gray. At the. So Cog's studying of the. Uh, of the katas the... to modify the uh, or to use the um, Starfield Gazer or viewer. Yeah, the, the the Starfield screen uh, it has been interrupted. Although he could return and do it, I think there was uh, Brenos and. Others were clearing bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, Val Soren and Brenos were kind of uh, making a big pyre outside while others were collecting up some of the uh, salvage. At this point in time, uh, there's no there's no pressing engagement. It looks like their attack doesn't look like there's going to be any further attack, at least not not today. Uh, which map is that? I'm having a... Oh, no, it's not. A, it's, it's a different campaign. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Good. I'm... So, fancy pants. Is there 
anything that we need to do from a, uh, you know, uh, talking to the null sort of thing, or we just sort of letting them wander about. You know the ones that, I mean, not the demon gnolls, but the, the other ones. <laughs> well, um, most part, I mean, they're going to, yeah, well, it depends on how many they have, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, um, Countess, uh, how well do you think you did with the elimination of the null threat? I mean, the outside forces. How did she think she did? <laughs> oh, they, they stopped coming, and then when you guys went out to look, it looked like uh, like there were a couple of cowardly gnolls that Val, uh, that Val ended up killing. There's one thing, Countess, that's been bugging you. Val seemed to really enjoy the combat. Seeing your son, like, almost thoughtlessly give in to the violence against non-humans... Um, is a concern. Is this new behavior? No. This goes back to Valsorin always wanted to um, please the two of you, especially uh, uh, his father, because you guys worked for the Imperium. He went so far as becoming an Imperial Guard and worships not the Five-Faced God, but the Undying Emperor himself. Okay. What he didn't always know is that you were on the fringes of supporting the really standard programs and doctrine of the Imperium, being a follower of an old god, being a sorcerer. And uh, Val Sor uh, Valsorin's father, Saul, uh, Saul Sorin, he was an elf that dealt with the Imperium because the Imperium conquered a bunch of elven lands and his true goal was to preserve a bunch of elven things before the Imperium got their dirty hands on it. Yes, he wore an Imperial badge. Yes, he worked for them. But he was never full, like, it He's was... 100% behind it. Was, was never 100% behind it. So you seeing your son completely devoted to the destruction of the Imperial enemies kind of saddened you a little bit as opposed to impressed you. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is, this is, Barnabas notices that Quintessa seems, to, her mind seems to be elsewhere when answering the question. <clears throat> oh, okay. I, I think we've got the worst of them. There might be a few small packs. She's, Asking, kind of, is that what a small group of them are called? They might turn into bandits, but... Well, uh, the, uh... I'm, all, I'm assuming, uh... We're all right taking the, uh... Uh, Amelia, uh, with us. Uh, in the morning I can take care of myself, but, uh, my prayers are running a little low this day. Uh, what with, you know, aspects of gods and such. <laughs> you know, normal days, doing the good works, he says, kind of like, feeling a little guilty about what some of the things happened. <laughs> so, so Barnabas is a little curious. What's an Emeria? <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, who who's that, and where did the, the fell and, out of my sword? And where where did the dragon go? Although uh, I think uh, Barnabas was like stuck in a spell. Like I don't know that he was like way the other end of the battle. Stunned, field. yeah, stunned, um, yeah. yeah, stunned. Yeah, you're looking at some sort of uh, knowledge planes and knowledge arcana. I take twenty on the knowledge planes. Take ten on the arcana, which will give me. 20 on the knowledge planes is a 72. Okay. And the 10 on the knowledge arcana is a 72. All right. Amiria appears to be um, an Azamar that also has dragon blood. Okay. At first, you thought it was. Not white dragon blood, not silver. It's platinum dragon blood. 
That's just bullshit. Come on. And her scales are showing to the point where she may have begun some sort of transformation into something more draconic, but it's also at the same time more angelic. So it's basically be... basically a unique being is what I'm trying to describe. You're like you haven't really um, encountered this before. So we're also going to need and then like Brynos is trying to like hide from Quintessa papers. <laughs> Making like a stampy motion. <laughs> In it. What would I put down for rice here? Looks like a bit of Azimar. Looks like a bit of dragon. Looks like a human to me. Does she have wings? <laughs> yeah, she's got wings. She tucks her wings back when you started questioning about what is she. Uh, oh, oh, she's a human, is she? Her wings do disappear. She tucks them completely Is your back. dad a pigeon? <laughs> She she wanted to answer the question. She looks at you like it's an odd question, and then she seems just really confused. She's got memory. She's having a hard time. All right, well, we can deal with that. Uh, well, humans breed with all sorts of things. <laughs> no, 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 not all sorts of things. I'm Amiria, she says. Like she's learning how to say her own name. And where did she come from? He's looking, he's looking at Brenos. And... There's an angry growl of the dragon now in the sword. From in here, dummy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's, uh, what was the name of that town? It was like... Uh... Brindle. 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 Oh. Um, a neighbor. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll figure this out. <laughs> uh, uh, Brindle. Uh... Well, how did she get from Brindle? to hear uh this for the papers or for you know like just ask the papers don't time. care that she's here now <laughs> uh she fell out of the sword well, that's a neat trick uh yeah you've been asked where riff was <laughs> no, i was kind of helping he was one of the bloody piles no <laughs> <laughs> No, he fell into the sword. I'll I'll show you bloody pile. <laughs> and you notice the sword like vibrates a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, she fell out and he fell in. And Brenos is a shit liar. I'm just confirming that Brenos is a shit liar. Yeah. I don't think I put any ranks in, in bluff. In and, bluff. And it's a tail. And, and there's and he's oh he did I did put a rank in bluff. I have a plus three bluff. Okay. Brenos is trying to hide something, and I think we've got a, a good ass heroism going. So plus seven on my bluff. You fail. <laughs> Seventeen bluff. Yeah, you, and that's you, all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell him it's Zateo to him. Uh, it, it's Zateo. All right, Z yeah. is in sword. I get it. Um, can you squeeze him out? <laughs> So you look at the sword, there's some of the platinum sheen is gone from the sword, Brenos. Um, you know those powers? There were some powers that you could spend. Um, uh, yes. Uh, that, yep. Those powers are no longer there as they they were basically a Myria powering. Um, a Myria going, do you want to be really good at fighting things? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I don't know where those powers were written down. Uh, they were written down. Uh, you've already crossed the boat, actually. Okay, well, I, um, I want to look at them. Okay, so it's right under my spells per day. Under weapons, uh, the platinum swords. Because those right. are things that she can do now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, spells per day. Which I'm assuming if I look at like the uh, a half celestial. <laughs> your your character oh. sheet's insane. What, where? Under, so under spells per day, there's a list of weapons. You need more links. Oh, there, there we go. Uh, Amiria, uh, Amiria is granting... Uh, <laughs> good or law points uh oh yeah with good or law points message shield other uh aid magic circle against evil divine power and disrupting weapon okay that's mm -hmm. cool um yeah. right now zateo is granting one dragon power 
in the blade, what power do you want him to retain, be it a class power or a draconic power, uh, that you can call upon? Uh, his, his skull singing, you want his skull singing. <laughs> It could be Skull, it could be his Draconic Rage singing, it could be uh, things like his Breath Weapon, it could be his uh, Frightening Aura. Frightening but pulling, Aura. But pulling a He-Man with the, with the Breath Weapon out of the sword. Would be awesome. that, is, Just... that is also cool. Uh, do I need to... Do I have any time, or is this like a... No, you, uh, you, can, you can choose... It'll be locked in when you, when you make the choice. Fearora, baby. Fearora. Fearora is also interesting, just as like a... Oh, I have the power. Uh, don't use my charisma. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you do feel a, a different connection with the blade, yeah. and it is one that is not connection, connection to the gods. It's like a connection to the draconic nature of Zateo Serpenseri mirth. Yeah. Which is his full dragon name. The second. Uh, where is that written down? <laughs> On his character sheet. I'm looking at his character sheet. Uh, there's there's one called Zateo, oh, right above Riff. Oh, I got you. He's got his dragon sheet. Yeah. All right. Because I want the, to write the, that the, down. the Riff sheet was the uh, the red herring sheet. It was the ruse sheet? Yeah, it was the ruse sheet. Yep. Well, I fell for the ruse, so. Brandis is going to call him Riff a few times before, uh, you know, <laughs> he faces that. He's very growly and grumpy right now. <laughs> He's pretty upset. <laughs> He'll get so, used to it. <laughs> so, if you've got someone else to, you know, fall into the sword, can you drop Zateo out? Uh, it took one of those gate. I, I thrust into a gatey portal and it kind of fried her out. There was a lot of energy in that portal. Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. It would have been interesting to see. Hmm. Renos is like shuffle footing his like, round and is obviously doesn't want to share his memory of the event with you. <laughs> you <laughs> and he's trying you to hide are it the and reason <laughs> I don't tell you people everything. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> this this portal should not be used to go to where it went. Well, do I know where it went? I think in the battle you know that somehow the portal to Limbo was used to... Somebody augmented it on the fly to go to a deep and dark place within Pandemonium. Ah, uh, okay. And then you know that there was some entity of great concern that they were uh, dealing with on the other side. It was uh, some sort of thing trapped in a crystal. Could kill everyone. You know, placed a head with you know who's head. You know? He's wearing okay. you know who as a cloak. Okay. Right. So, He's... a guy who's going to take a dead god and go, you know what? That would be a great cloak. Right, so... Aspirational, you... some may say. But not right now. <laughs> but he's on the other side of the portal. The portal is closed. He's not coming through. Well, job well done. See? Uh, yes. The feeling that his prison... <laughs> That's Amiria. There's going to be something wrong with his prison. That creature is an ancient one. Ancient to the plains. Marty, if I pick breath weapon, do I have to pick which one, or do I get the slow weapon, the slow breath? Because slow breath, I think, is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> slow breath weapon? Yeah, 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 I think so. Because that's fucking awesome. <laughs> sure, if that's the one you want. <clears throat> it's a fort save, or be slowed. Or auto dispel haste. Oh. You sure you want that money? <laughs> <Right. laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. 
So I will make a note of that. Slow okay. breath. Yeah. And the DC of his breath weapon is uh, looks like so. So your your sword farts at people. <laughs> it's just a gas cloud. Uh, the DC is twenty one. DC is twenty one. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to copy this. Uh, and cool. 